I don't know if you knew this, but white people bad. Uh, you don't want them working for your company if you're a big tech company in Silicon Valley. You don't want them in your commercials. You don't want them on your product pictures. They're bad. They're the only group of people that will allow you to actively discriminate against them and do nothing about it. Well, that is until recently where more people have decided to push back with effective boycotts against companies that get woke and push this kind of stuff. There's an active boycott going on right now against Harley Davidson. I think that a lot of people actively push back against Bud Light. Now, this was not a white people thing, but certainly diversity, equity, and inclusion type stuff is inherently at its core anti-white and now anti-Asian. I just don't think that's a great way to do business. I wish that there was a more competitive market in the cell phone space. I wish there was a SpaceX Tesla phone or something like that because you really have two choices. You have Android cell phones or you have Apple cell phones. But perhaps I can make a case after this article, sharing this article with you, that you should be considering a different product line, maybe for your smartwatch, maybe for your iPad or your, uh, your tablet stuff. Apple now has opened its application for the fifth annual Apple Entrepreneur Camp. This is a great thing. The Apple Entrepreneur Camp is in general an inherently good thing. Research shows that founders from, un, uh, sorry, Apple has officially opened its applications for the fifth year of its Apple Entrepreneur Camp. Apple, however, says that Entrepreneur Camp, quote, supports underrepresented founders and developers and encourages the pipeline of longevity in, in these entrepreneurs and technology. Now, see, they have a lot of white people and, and Asian people in this picture. In fact, the picture is almost exclusively white and Asian people in this picture. Now, what if I told you that they were banned from even applying? How do you feel about your Apple products now? Quote, research shows that founders from underrepresented communities face unique challenges, especially when starting the leading technology companies. We created Apple Entrepreneur Camp with the goal of supporting these founders and their organizations as they build the next generation of cutting edge apps and to form global network that encourages the pipeline of longevity of underrepresented founders and developers in technology. Again, just so I am clear, just so I am translating this properly to you all, underrepresented entrepreneurs means no whites, no Asians. That's what it means. That's what it means. No whites, no Asians. Apple says applications are open to female asterisk. Why is there an asterisk next to female? What is that? What is the asterisk for? By the way, this particular group of underserved people have been getting easy access to Ivy League colleges for the last 20 years. Try getting into an Ivy League school if you're Asian. It's almost impossible. Or if you're a white male. They actively discriminate against these groups and, in fact, got sued for it this past summer. Now, they only lost that lawsuit because they were being sued by Asians and not white people. But I don't like to talk like this. It makes me feel weird to be like talking about white people as a monolith. Oh, white people are a monolith. They should, you know, you should um, treat them differently. No, you should be hiring the best people for the job. Apple should be hiring the best people for the job, but... That's not what they're doing. Apple applications are open to female, asterisk, black, Hispanic, Latinx. By the way, I have never met a Latino person who identifies with Latinx. That was the, I, that, the term Latinx was created by an overweight white woman. I would bet on it. Oh, and of course, indigenous founders and developers. Now, here is the asterisk. Apple believes that gender expression is a fundamental right. We welcome all women to apply, apply to this program. So what do they mean? What is the asterisk for? Well, the asterisk is to tell you in a coded way that biological men who pretend to be women are allowed in. So if you want to get into Apple's entrepreneurial program, a great opportunity, admittedly, to fast track any potential investments or uh, inventions you may have, you have to identify as trans if you're a biological male. 
I mean, you might be saying, how is this legal? I don't know. I don't know how it's legal. You can see libs of TikTok. Apple Entrepreneur Camp program is open and applications only to minority groups. White people are not included. Actually, Asians are also not included. Guess what? This is not legal. The Equal Opportunity Information or Opportunity Commission says that you cannot discriminate based on race. And I strongly support white men and Asian men to sue them. Because you this is this is happening because groups like us allow it to happen. We don't sue because people call us weak. White men get discriminated against. And when we say anything about it, we are told that we've had it easy for years and that we're being babies and we're gaslit into standing up for ourselves. Asians don't feel that way. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work as well on Asians. That's why they sued Harvard <coughs> and then Columbia. You are not allowed to discriminate based on race. So they think they're being slick by saying, oh, well, we're only opening it to these, but you know, you can sort of still apply. Lots of companies do this. Wizards of the Coast, a Hasbro company, does this all the time. We're looking for storytellers for Magic the Gathering. Uh, black and indigenous and trans people are encouraged to apply. What the secret buy text is in there is that if you're white and male, you're not getting the job. Period. Exclamation point. If you're white and male, you're not getting the job. And society allows it. Where are all the articles talking about it? Well, you can go to Twitchy. That's about it. White and Asian men not invited to Aunt Ample's entrepreneur camp. If Donald Trump's re-election in November, he says he's going to do away with DEI in federal government. The E stands for equity. And if Kamala Harris is elected, you're going to be hearing a lot about equity. Here's a sample. It has to be about a goal of saying everybody should end up in the same place. And since we didn't start in the same place, some folks might need more. Equitable distribution. Communism. Giving resources based on equity, understanding that we, we fight for equality, but we also need to fight for equity, understanding not everyone starts out at the same place. Equity is a fake, woke term that is used to supplement Anti-white racism. That's what it is. I hate to be so blunt in my terminology, but it's simply the truth. It is a term that is used to justify racism against white people. Exclusion, exclusionary laws, exclusionary opportunities. And they are trying to say, well, yeah, but you didn't get to... You know, but black folks haven't always had, dude, black folks, folks have never had more opportunities than they do right now. Are you joking? Apple obviously realizes that entrepreneurs don't all start out in the same place. As President Joe Biden has revealed, the difference between white entrepreneurs and black entrepreneurs is that black entrepreneurs don't have lawyers or accountants. The data shows young black entrepreneurs are just as capable of succeeding given the chance as white entrepreneurs are but they don't have lawyers they don't have they, they they don't have accountants they don't the left literally thinks black people are stupid that the left thinks black people are stupid they think they are incapable they think they are they cannot run their own business they think they are too stupid to figure out what the internet is they think that they're too stupid to figure out what an accountant is I happen to not think that. I think that a black person is just as smart as a, a yellow person or a white person or whatever the case is. And the, and the opportunities around our world and our, you know, the, the, the left literally says black folks can't use computers. I, I don't even understand. Again, this is highly illegal, but since federal government doesn't enforce discrimination laws, then Apple and other companies get away with it. All you can really do is not buy their products and tell them why. I don't care who invents the new app. I don't care about the skin color of the next person who invents whatever app is, you know, whatever the case is. Doesn't matter to me. 
shouldn't matter to you either. It's is it the best you know solution to the problem? All right, but they care, and all you get is worse talent. The minute you start having race quotas, the only reasonable outcome is that you're going to have a worse quality workforce. That's not me disliking anybody of any race. That is me presenting an absolute fact. When you are hiring based on the skin color, you are not by def by own by definition you are not hiring the best person for the job. If the best person for the job happens to be a black indigenous lesbian, great. Nobody cares. But if the only people you interview are black indigenous lesbians, you are by default admitting you are not willing to hire the best person for the job. You are not willing to even look for the best person for the job. In fact, if you're Apple, you're specifically saying white and Asian men simply cannot be the best person for the job. Now, think about that when you buy your next $1,500 iPhone or your $500 Apple iWatch or your $1,000 iPad or your $2,000 MacBook, all right? Apple thinks whites and Asians are substandard. And I don't really know any other way to put it. It sounds like I'm being hyperbolic, but I'm not. It's literally what they think, and they are showing it to you. And we let it happen. So it's time to vote with your wallet. By the way, that's why I continue to recommend Veebs. Get Veebs. You can scan products and see if they hate you or not. It's, it's free to try if you use code 4444 when you download it. It's on the App Store. It's on Google Play. Download it today. Download like, right now while you're watching this video. Open the Google Play Store. Download the Veebs app. And when it asks you for a confirmation code, use 4444. Get a free trial. They also use do hotels now too, which is awesome because hotels are expensive and I travel a lot. So definitely get Veebs. Stop giving money to people who hate you. Stop giving Apple your money. To, 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 I mean, they sure use a lot of white folks in these pictures, whites and Asians, huh? It's ridiculous. It's time to fight back.